Before we get too far along today, let's quickly review what we've done so far. I'm assuming that you watched the first half dozen or so lectures that I delivered on the general landscape for industrial controllers. In those we discussed what does a PLC do, we discussed input devices, output devices, the hardware itself, the ladder logic diagrams, and then what is a PLC in general. And then we also I gave you a little presentation on how to build your own hardware trainer if you're going to do that instead of using the simulator. This is what we call straight line training. In our process, we put ourselves in the position of the learner and then we draw a straight line to what they need to know. In other words, at the process, you have a controller, you have I.O., you have wiring, you have a process. What do you need to learn to follow that path? Well, the first thing you need is tools. So let's assume that you have a computer. Now, I've got a laptop sitting here. It could be a desktop that you roll around on a cart. Some companies do that. But let's just assume it's a laptop. This laptop needs connected components workbench. Otherwise, you cannot monitor or do anything with the Micro 800 controllers. If you want to connect to a Micro 800 controller, then you have to have RS Links Classic Lite. Now, there's also Factory Talk Links. That's a subject for another day. But you need two pieces of software. The first one of which is Connected Components Workbench. So let's go to Rockwell Automation, find it, and download it. Where do you find the software? The obvious answer is Google it. You notice I use CCW space 12. If you just put CCW, you're liable to get concealed carry weapons permit information. You throw on the 12. One of the first two or three selections is going to say Rockwell Automation. It's going to make sense. So obviously you want to click on that one. And when you do, it's going to take you to this page. There's information right there for Connect Components Workbench. Scroll down and you see the important thing, download software. You look down there through your choices and there's only one download choice there. Download the standard edition. You could also request a DVD and you can go to the software subscription portal if you want to do an annual subscription to the developer edition. The only thing that you would really want from the developer's edition is how long you can run the simulator without restarting it. The standard edition gives you 10 minutes. The developer's edition gives you 24 hours. 10 minutes is not that big a deal if you have to restart it every 10 minutes. So you click on that. This is going to take you to another page on Allen Bradley Rockwell software. You could ignore all the business over to the right. So we want to go to Select Files. That's going to bring us to this pop-up. I just normally select everything. Now the one that you absolutely have to have is the download, which is Connected Components Workbench Standard Multiple Language Edition 12. All the rest of it, you don't need that to actually run the software and run the simulator. I select it all rather than have to come back and get something that I wished I had done. Once you get used to Rockwell's download process, you'll recognize that that box up there, which you recognize, see it says zero up there right now. Zero downloads. Now it says seven because we selected seven. So we click on that. We click right on that download seven, the shopping cart, download cart, and it brings you to a list with descriptions, version levels, release dates, the whole 10 yards. Go down. Okay, that's what I want. So now it's going to be download now. And it's going to come up with a disclaimer. If you reject it, then you're all done. Otherwise, you accept it. And it's going to take you to this image, which gives you the choice of two download options. Managed download or direct download. Direct download is just going to download it directly and you are on your own. Managed download is going to create a special app or a special little sequence. You're going to download the sequence and then when you run it, it will actually manage the download of all those pieces of software. So click on that and this um, download progress starts after you go to your download RA folder, find the, it's going to have a red icon right next to it. You'll see today's date on it and a whole bunch of characters. Open up that and that will run this process and you can see it's downloading 5.8 gig of software. When it's done and it hits 100%, the only thing that changes, other than you can't pause it because it's done, 
is there's going to be a little blue piece of text that says change in the upper one and open on this one. So you're going to click on that and that's going to open the folder where it put these files. You can see this PC blah 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 downloads RA for Rockwell Automation. Obviously I've downloaded a lot of stuff. So you're going to go to CCW. You're going to open that and run the setup file. And we're going to pretty much leave it at here because this is your computer and all computers are a little bit different look. Windows 7, Windows 10. This is Windows 10. So we're going to leave that right here. Okay, you've downloaded it. Now you can load this software. Open up that folder and you're going to see now that it's extracted, you're going to see a CCW standard DVD. Now they say DVD, it's because if you order the standard DVD, this is what's going to be on. Okay, we found a Connected Components Workbench and we went through the process of selecting all the files that we wanted. And now you're going to have to load it on your computer. I cannot help you with that. There are too many different uh, scenarios and variations in computers, operating systems, and what's on your machine now, what's not on your machine. But I would encourage you to avail yourself of the help and technical support at Rockwell Automation if you run into a problem. You've already created a, an account because you had to do that in order to download the software. So you might as well go back there if you have trouble and go to the technical support, the knowledge base they call it, type in your problem and see if you can't sort it out. But you've got to get CCW loaded onto your computer. Now let's go look for RS Links. Where do we get RS Links Lite? If you're going to use RS Links Lite, then you're going to go through the same process. Now you don't need RS Links Lite necessarily with CCW, but let's go through it anyway. So we Google RS Links Lite, we pick the appropriate choice. When we get here, you could hit compatibility and downloads, but instead I'm going to do Factory Talk Links Getting Results Guide because Factory Talk Links is replacing RS Links, or you could say it's renamed with some better features. So I would avail yourself of this PDF and download it right here, then do compatibility and downloads. It's going to come up with a search field. When you start typing in RS Links, you get a drop down list, a type of type forward feature. You're going to click on RS Links Classic Lite Free. They're all free. Then you're going to, when this pops up, you're going to click on Downloads. And we don't care about the compatibility chart over to the right. We go right to Select Files. You could select, and there's more than just these. Just notice the scroll bar over to the right is uh, all the way at the bottom of the list. You could download all these so you have them. I only download RS Links Classic Lite 4.11. That's the one that I use. So download. Okay. And I always load RS Links before I load the other software. It's just a force of habit. Okay, we found CCW and RS Links Classic Lite. So you've got the tools that you need. You should have a laptop, Connect Components Workbench. The current version is 12. If 13 or 14 is out, by all means, you should have downloaded the most current version. You've got RS Links Classic Lite. So at this point, you can connect up to and program a Micro 800 controller. Now, if you're not going to actually use a Micro 800 controller, a hardware controller, then you're going to use the simulator. So that would be the next tool or the first next element in a straight line learning process of traveling from where you're at to where you want to go grabbing everything along the way that you need so you arrive with all the knowledge and understanding that you have. And as I said before, I can't help you load software on your computer and get it running. But in some of these next discussions and lectures, I will go through a discussion with the simulator showing you how to start it up, how to power it up, download it, and test it to see if it works. Once you have created a project with a simulator or a hardware controller and you have downloaded a project to it and went online with it, you're golden. You're solid. 
you're ready to go. So let's do that. Let's look at the simulator.